Hello, and thank you for watching Telco Steve's Workbench. Today for you we have the Western Electric 302. This particular 302 Western Electric telephone is has a zinc metal alloy cover. It came out in 1936 from Western Electric when they were done making the 202 D1, this happens to be a D1 body, oval based telephone. The 202 telephone came with an E1 handset and the 202 telephone was wired directly to a subset which was mounted on the floor, the ceiling, the wall, wherever it was mounted and it housed the ringer, the condenser and the network um, inside the subset. This telephone was later on made in a tin and plastic cover after World War II started and they did that in order to save on uh, making something out of metal because they wanted to use the metal alloy for other purposes for the war effort. Guns, bazookas, bullets, airplanes, uh, whatever the case may be. So they came out with the tin and plastic cover and they continued that to the mid 50s when the 500 series set took over the role of the newest design telephone. This telephone has been completely rewired. It has cloth cords. No, they are not OEM cords. They are cloth cords. It's on the line cord and on the handset cord. And uh, it has been thoroughly cleaned and sanitized for your protection. And it has been fully tested and yes, it does work. As you can see. Hello? Hey mom. Yeah, I'm making a 302 video. Yeah, another 302. No, this one's a metal base one. Yeah, I know, it's great. It is in really good shape. Yeah, it uh, it does. It's It's been totally refurbished. It even has the leather feet on it have been replaced. And as you can see, it, yeah, okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, I was just about to tell her, as you can see from the pictures on the, uh, right now, the, everything has been cleaned on this phone, and the dates on it are 841 on the inductor coil, uh, the third quarter of 41. One thing about this phone, as with pretty much all the phones I sell, what I do is I terminate the end of the line cord on a plug, a modular plug. This is the typical way that they do jacks now, telephone jacks. They have modular inserts. They call them inserts, they call them mod plugs, they call them mod jacks. I don't care what you want to call it, that's what it is right there. So I terminated the line cord on it so that you could take a modular cord, be it 50 feet, 5 feet, 10 feet, you want to run it into your living room, you're out by the pool, you want to take your phone out there, you don't have to uh, worry about it. You simply get your modular cord and you simply just plug it in as such. Well, let's say that you have no modular cord and you don't want to buy a modular cord, but you have a modular jack next to your antique telephone desk stand and you simply just want to plug it in. Well, you don't want to have the added extra. Sorry about that. We've got bugs here. <laughs> it's so tough making these videos. It really is. But you would believe what goes right, what doesn't go right. But anyway, let's say you just want to be able to just plug it in. You don't want to go to the store. You don't want to incur another cost. Some people are like that. Whatever, okay? I will sell with this phone at no extra charge. Oh, goody. You, another little modular cord that's about, oh, six inches or so long, seven inches. And you, and you simply just don't. You simply just plug it into your uh, your wall jack. Here's how it'll come to you. Simple. The phone is guaranteed to work. You just heard the bells ring. It does work. The functionality of it, the transmission, the call quality is fine. It is a rotary dial phone. Some, if not all, VoIP systems will not work with rotary pulse dialing telephone systems. Uh, the telephone service provider. So you must have rotary pulse dial service. 
you can get some devices that will hook up to your cell phone and via Bluetooth will hook up to uh, the back side of it, your house wiring so that now you can use rotary pulse style telephones with a cell phone service. You can research that on the internet. You can Google it if you have trouble finding it or that you just don't know how to research it. You can drop me a line at telcosteve at gmail.com. That's telcosteve at gmail.com. And I will assist you with the name of the manufacturer that I know of that can do that. I don't endorse them. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, I simply know that some people have done that and they say it works great. Well, I want to thank you for watching another edition of Telco Steve's Workbench. I bid you a fine day and remember, take the ones that you love, hold them tight, tell them that you love them. Why? Because it matters. Have a great day and thank you for watching.